The objective is to solve two-step word problems involving measurement conversions. Let's do problem one on the problem set together. Liza's cat had six kittens. When Liza and her brother weighed all the kittens together, they weighed four pounds, two ounces. Since all the kittens are about the same size, about how many ounces does each kitten weigh? Let's draw a picture to represent this problem. What do we see? We see that there are six kittens all together. So let's draw that out. And those six kittens all together, they weigh four pounds, two ounces. So I want to know how much each kitten weighs. It will help to understand how many ounces four pounds is. So let's write that out. Four pounds equals four times one pound. I can replace that with four times 16 ounces because there's 16 ounces in a pound. 4 times 16 is 64, so that's 64 ounces. If 4 pounds is 64 ounces, then 4 pounds 2 ounces is 66 ounces. Now what we have here is we have 6 units equaling 66 ounces. So one unit is equal to, divide both sides by six, 11, 11 ounces. So each kitten weighs 11 ounces. Make sure to check over your work and write out a sentence. Each kitten weighed about 11 ounces. Let's first read the problem together. A container of oregano is 17 pounds heavier than a container of peppercorns. Their total weight is 253 pounds. The peppercorns will be sold in one ounce bags. How many bags of peppercorns can be made? So it looks like we have different units. We have pounds and we also have ounces. Let's start by working out this problem. We look at the oregano, there's oregano and the oregano is 17 pounds heavier than the peppercorns. So if this represents the peppercorns, 17 more, 17 pounds more, and then all together, there's 253 pounds for the oregano and the peppercorn. See that right there, total weight is 253 pounds. We want to know the weight of the peppercorns so that we can figure out how many bags of peppercorns can be made. So, let's start out with 253 minus 17, and that'll be worth our two units. One unit, two units. 253 minus 17 is equal to 236. So two units equals 236. So that's half of that. Half of it is how much? Right, 118. That's 118 pounds. But we need ounces. Work this out, 118 times 16 because there are 16 ounces in a pound. Pause the video while you do your work. Six times eight is 48. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. Zero, regroup a one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. Twice is zero. One, one, eight, and then add those together.
eight 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 one one thousand eight hundred eighty eight ounces so that's how many bags we can make because it says they'll be sold in one ounce bags one thousand eight hundred eighty eight bags of peppercorns can be made okay here is number three take a moment to read that problem by yourself and then we can read it together each costume needs 46 centimeters of red ribbon and three times as much yellow ribbon. What is the total length of ribbon needed for 64 costumes? And then it says to express your answers in meters. What's the relationship in between centimeters and meters? We're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. 100 centimeters equals one meter. The key for our tape diagram is this. We've got red ribbon, and we have three times as much as yellow ribbon. So red ribbon was 46, and yellow ribbon was three times as much. And then we have a total amount of all the ribbons. So yellow ribbon is 46, 46, 46 again, and then we have a total amount, which would be 4 times 46. So 1 unit equals 46 centimeters, 4 units equals 4 times 46 centimeters, which equals what you get for that. get 184 centimeters. We've been working with one costume, except there's 64 costumes. So now we need to take 184 and multiply it by 46. to be able to figure out how much total that we need um, of ribbon. And remember, we're going to express our answer in meters. Let's go 184 times 46 first. Work that out. Do you get 11,776? And that's centimeters. So we need to express that back in meters. 11,776 times 0 0.01 meters, which would equal what? Here's the final problem. When making a batch of orange juice for her basketball team, Jackie used five times as much water as concentrate. So here's one unit for the concentrate, and then this would be five times as much. There were 32 more cups of water than concentrate. That means that this right here is 32. If that's 32, then each of these looks like it would be eight. Each unit is eight. How much juice does she make in all? So she combines each of those together for an all. And so the in all is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths. And that would help you figure out how much total juice that she made in all. When she pours those juice into quart containers, we need to know that a, one quart equals four cups. So that'll be your clue and your hint. Work out your work and show your work.